to borescope a CZ MTR alongside my Savage BTV at the shooting range this week. Uh, these are both taken right after about 50 rounds. I assume the MTR was uh, cleaned before it came to the range. I think it was. I know the little Savage was. And what I want you to see is the difference in the machining, uh, especially around the area where the lands start. And uh, you can see the MTR on the right. It's pretty smooth. When I get to the close-up of the uh, beginning of the uh, rifling, there you go. You'll see the how sharp the edges are on the start and uh, a little buildup there is right here at the beginning of the rifling. You can also tell that the uh, dimensions are way different. The lands are very narrow compared to the groove and uh, that's another dis difference. Um, wasn't able to time these exactly the same but uh, I'll skip a lot of this where we just run down through the through the barrel, but uh, you'll see the. Uh, of course, I couldn't. I couldn't leave the MTR after seeing the uh, uh, the way the lead area was done in the in the rifle. I looked at the Savage so many times. I just moved on to the bore, looking for big chunks of stuff stuck in the bore. Of course, I didn't see any. And so uh, we'll move on here with the MTR here in a second and then go to the crown. The crown will show little little difference in the in the two barrels, but uh, the Savage was much dirtier than the MTR at the crown area. And I wasn't sure what to make of that, but uh, I'll show you. It's coming up. So, Savage on the left. Of course, you can tell we didn't even run any patches down the barrel before I ran the bore scope down it. But uh, at first look, the Savage on the left looks pretty bad and the uh, MTR on the right looks clear and sharp and uh, there's a little little powder smearing in the Savage barrel not much in the in the MTR and uh, so I thought well maybe I'll give this Savage one more chance and uh, I'll take it home and spend a little more time cleaning up the other end of the barrel. So I ran about, uh, I don't know, 10 VFG pellets through the barrel, concentrating really on the uh, chamber end and then uh, at the crown and was able to get the barrel very clean. There's no carbon left in this barrel, I don't think. And uh, this is about as clean as I can get it. So I don't know what to do with the barrel after this little exercise here. But uh, you can see the uh, carbon's gone especially when we get out toward the crown end. The crown's cleaned up pretty good. And I'll show you the crown here in a second. But uh, making a pass down through the bore. Uh, it's still got that scaly look that it's always had, but I don't worry about that too much because uh, some of the worst, one of the worst barrels I have is a worst looking barrels. Shoots shoots the best in 9mm at least. But the 
crown in looks looks good now. Still not quite as nice looking as the uh, CZ. And uh, there's still a couple of patch threads in here. But uh, at least it's cleaned up. There's none of, that, none of the carbon or anything like that. And so I kind of had high hopes that maybe I could get it back to where it was when I shot the sub two inch group at 200 yards and uh, so I decided to decided to try it went ahead and took the gun out to the range one more time and uh, tried it at 100 yards again but uh, it still wasn't real good maybe a little better but uh, wasn't any, it wasn't as good as it was a couple of weeks ago, and that's been the problem. I never know when the gun's going to shoot well and when it's not. 